So I heard something recently and that is Google is trying to kill passwords for good. Maybe not really, but they are testing out for a small subset of users a way to just not log in with passwords. Instead of using a username and password or email and password, you just type in your email address and then on your phone you get a number, a special temporary code, and then you log in with that. It asks you, are you trying to log in? You can say yes or no. And then if you say yes, then you get the code and you type that in instead. In this case, you can still use a password if you want, but it would be a little bit more secure if you use the phone. Now, the main reason for this is to not only get rid of passwords that people can steal and reuse, but also stop phishing attempts where it's a fake login or something like that and you put in your username and then the fake website stole it and uses it themselves. If it's a temporary code, then even if they were to steal that with a man in the middle attack or something like that and log in, well, it only is good once. So it's a lot more secure, maybe not foolproof because they, you know, if they're sophisticated, they'd still be able to use a man in the middle attack to log in with your temporary code, but it's still better than them being able to steal your password once and reuse it. And this is an interesting take. I know for a long time people have been trying to figure out how to get rid of passwords because people have such bad password practices. They use terrible ones that are easily guessed in seconds by a computer. But I think one main solution that everyone should really use is two-factor authentication. We always have our phones with us these days, so why not just get that extra passcode to your phone if it's an important account like your email account especially or your Google account or something like that. There's no reason to not have your two-factor authentication enabled where even if they steal your password, they can't log in with the special code that goes to your phone. But this new test is a little bit different than two-factor authentication because you don't need the password at all. Like with two-factor authentication, you need the password and then a second code, but with this new one, it's you just type in the username and then the codes that's sent to your phone. So it's a little bit different. I think two-factor authentication inherently would be more secure, obviously, because it's two factors. But I think for people who are just lazy, they don't wanna to have to worry about two codes, this would be a good way to meet in the middle because you don't have to remember a password, but it's still secure because it's temporary. And I'm definitely interested to see how this plays out. I think in the future, we are definitely gonna get rid of passwords completely, but you know, that's kind of a difficult challenge. Maybe we all will use our phones as our passwords, but then of course the question is, if someone steals our phone, <laughs> then they don't need anything else to you know, access our accounts. So I think right now it seems like the best security is a strong password that you don't repeat and also two-factor authentication. And that, that would make it really difficult for someone to steal and access your account. And a lot of people have been saying, oh, well, why, why not use a fingerprint? Well, the thing about fingerprints is they are terrible passwords because they do not change, you cannot change them. So if someone steals your fingerprint, they can just use it to access all your accounts and you can't change it. So people have said it's really good as a username for your fingerprint, but definitely not a password. So we're gonna have to see how some smart people come up with some alternative ways to access accounts securely. And that'll be interesting to see in the next several years, because it's gonna happen. So you guys can let me know what you think in the comment section, we can continue this discussion down there. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed it. Also, if you have any suggestions, I'm open to hearing that as well. If you wanna continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right-hand side, you can just click those or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. And if you wanna subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I think it should be worth it. So thanks for watching, guys. As usual, I will see you next time. Have a good one.